Hey everyone! So today is Sunday, January the 17th and like I said every Sunday I will be doing an update um, to you guys to let you know what my weigh-in is. So this is week two, so my second weigh-in and um, just to recap, last week, last Sunday, I weighed in at 227. Let me just raise my volume, I don't know if you can hear me. So last week I um, weighed in at 227, I had lost six pounds, and today I weighed in at 222. So I lost another five pounds this week, um, so total 11 pounds in two weeks. Um, again, like I've said before, it's really, really good. My husband even had to tell me like, make sure you stay positive because I know it's I'm going on the right track, but again, it's just hard to still see those high numbers, um, especially when I was at 185 or 184. So, um, but anyhow, five pounds, that is good. So I'm really happy with what I'm doing. Um, again, I'm not following any strict diet or anything like that. What I do use a lot is my fitness pal. So. Anything I eat, um, I'll track on there, and it's such an easy, easy app to use. I know a lot of you guys probably use it or have heard of it. At first, I was not sold on it because um, it's like, oh my god, I have to track everything. I have to put in ounces or how many cups or whatever, but honestly, like the first week, you kind of learn on how to do that, and then after, it's a breeze. Like my soup that I had last week, I put that on as a recipe so every time I have that soup I just click on it and it knows everything. It knows the ounces, it knows the calories, it knows the fats, it knows the carbs. Everything is already on there so I only had to put it on once. Um, especially like when you start putting on things you normally eat, it'll give you a list of what you ate recent so you just click on it. So it's not like you always have to scan a barcode or always have to put in the ounces or cups or grams that you are having. Um, it remembers all that for you. It already saves it in there. So for me that is working um, and that's what I'm going to continue to use because it, it's actually given me more um, like a bigger window of what I can eat because um, then I'll be like okay I do want this and then I'll see if it fits in my calories and my fats and my carbs um, and then I'll be able to have it and then I can see okay maybe I should maybe eat a little bit of a lighter breakfast or a lighter lunch because I know I may be having this for dinner so honestly I like doing this because I'm still being able to eat different types of foods and not just always salads and carrots and cucumbers. Um, I can eat different things and still be losing weight. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to continue to do that until, I don't know, it doesn't work or I hit a plateau or something, but um, for now that's what I'll be doing. And of course I share with you guys everything on my Instagram, um, what meals I'm having and stuff like that. Again, if you want to follow me on Instagram to kind of see what my meals are, because um, I know I've had some questions on what I eat for breakfast or what my snacks are, I share all that on Instagram. So it's M-S-M-E-R-I-N-O, that's my Instagram name. Um, and yeah, so what else this week? Um, this water, I think I shared this in my last video, but this is like everything. I forgot it twice for work and it was like meh, like I wanted it so bad because it's I don't know I know I'm probably weird but this just the bottle makes me drink a lot more water so I calculated that five of these bottles is a gallon so I have five or six a day and that has really been helping I think um with also my weight loss I know that these first two weeks are probably a lot of water that I'm losing um which is which is fine like I'm still seeing the scale go down I'm still feeling not so bloated so it's a good start um, but yeah I think the hardest thing for me is gonna be not that these two weeks have been easy but I think it's gonna be harder when I start seeing maybe like one pound loss in a week or just two pounds like I know I'm gonna get there um, and that's when I'm really gonna have to be like okay positive mind frame like stay positive don't give up um, that's when it's really gonna 
be hard I think and that's I think when I started really struggling in my past um, tries when I've tried losing weight is when I start seeing little losses um, yeah so not saying that these two weeks have been easy but I know it's gonna get obviously hard throughout this journey um, what else what else what else I think that's it you guys I mean if you guys have questions or comments leave them down below I love reading your guys comments I love hearing your stories this is exactly why I'm sharing mine pretty much with anyone that can watch this YouTube video um, is to kind of help each other and show you guys that you are not alone there's so many of us that are struggling with binge eating and being addicted to junk food and the mental part that comes with it with not really being physically hungry but being mentally hungry where you want that cheeseburger pizza poutine I've been there I've been there this week but that's what we have to get past so honestly you guys I love love hearing your stories thank you for your comments thank you for your messages thank you for your questions thank you for subscribing because you know what I'll go back I'll go on your page I'll watch your videos I'll subscribe back like we can do this and we can do this together to support each other um, so yeah keep at it I've met so many new people um, that are on this journey through YouTube and I am watching your videos so keep it up you guys are doing awesome 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 um, and like I said this year we will try our hardest to beat this food addiction and to just live a healthy lifestyle so again if you guys have questions or anything leave them down below and I will see you next Sunday with another weigh-in update and hopefully it's another good one all right bye guys